Welcome to Crude Tube. I'm Captain Crude. A little noisy out there today, but I want to talk about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I just saw this list for 2024 who gets into a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mary J. Blige? What the fuck? Dave Matthews Band? What the fuck? And then other bands that probably should have been in there years ago, like Foreigner. You know, I'm not a Foreigner fan, but let's be real. They were a huge band for a long time, and they're still touring. Ozzy Osbourne? Come on. You know, it's like he went in with Sabbath, but now you finally admit Ozzy on his own after all these years, 45 years. Where's Dio? Why isn't Ronnie Dio in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Why isn't Blue Oyster Cult? Why isn't Ted Nugent? Why isn't all these other great 70s rock bands not there? I mean, Cher is getting into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Cher. Really? She should go into the Vegas Hall of Fame. That's how I look at it. So it's all one crock of shit. It's all one big show. But the Dave Matthews Band pisses me off because they've only been around, what, since about 1991 or something? They're in on, you know, I think you got to wait 25 years from the time you record your first album to be nominated. And they're in that crappy-ass band. And they're not even that great musicians if you really want to, you know, get in, you know, get into the details with those guys. Fuck them. So Iron Maiden is another one. Why not? Why, why isn't Iron Maiden in the, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? That's crazy. Hard rock bands never have a chance. You got to be a band like Foreigner. You know, something like that. You know, Joan Jett got in because she's, you know, female. She plays rock and roll. But Mary J. Blige, A Tribe Called Quest, I think is another one in there. Come on. That's all bullshit. So tell me what you think and uh, talk to you later. Peace. Cheers.